Hello everybody, this time we're going to be having a go at playing Swap Remix, created and recommended by Shane, so a very big thank you to Shane. And if I understand correctly, this is either a heavily inspired by, or a hammerizationalization of an original puzzle design by Lizard Rockets. So if that's the case, a very big thank you to Lizard Rockets also. If however it is not the case, then full credit to Shane of course. Uh, also, from the description and a quick browse of the comments, this isn't going to be an easy one, so I warn you now, let's do the usual long video warning, go get yourself some snacks, etc, etc. Please feel free to complain about my incompatibility in the comments as per usual. Um, I'd like to get in there somehow, however there's a bloody great big wall of pistons in my way. This one did look very, very pretty from the workshop thumbnails as well, and I I'd very much like to see more of it once we work out how to get into the place. There is a button there. Is that a button for me from here? No? Okay, there's probably something very obvious, like a panel that I'm missing somewhere. I see a gap. I see a gap, yes. So obvious, it's a bloody great gap. Okay, that gets us into the actual chamber, where we are met with some fizzlers, a laser receiver here, which would indicate it is for exit purposes. However, nowhere near that yet. We've got a laser receiver here as well. This laser receiver is for reversification of conveyance beams. So there's a conveyance beam in here somewhere. Well, there's its emitter, so there's a conveyance beam in there we can reversificate. A uh, laser goes directly across through some glass here. You. Now, you've been decorative in the past, but you line up with a laser, making me think you're probably kind of important, so let's remember that for the future. We've got some sparking lights over here with this very nicely lit kind of... Uh, viscous lighting going on, some fidgety panels, a load of deadly deadly goo with a panel directly across over there, and our exit is all the way over in the corner there, which is going to need that laser receiver to actually open it. Uh, we've also got this big bit of chamber, which I probably should have started with. Conveyance beam is automatic as it senses us entering, and some panels do a little twitching action over here. What are you trying to do? Well, I'm sure you tried, whatever it was. Uh, there is a laser relay here for turning off deadly deadly lasers and apparently you are also the exit as well past the deadly deadly lasers and a load of deadly deadly goo. So two things laser wise to open the exit. Uh, that button we were looking at is tucked down in here in a lovely little overgrown green area of the chamber so let's hit you and get a cube. You give me some steps you also stick a fizzler in my face. Interesting. Why Why did you fizzle me? Is that like a reset mechanic for later or a you gone done fucked up kind of reset mechanic? Uh, that has given us a cube of the laser refraction variety. It dropped directly into a conveyance beam that goes to a panel up there. So it'd probably be very, very handy to get hold of you. I'm immediately drawn to that catwalk and what looks like a panel. Is that... Is that not a panel? Really? Oh, what a panel tease that would have been. That clearly looks like it should go somewhere somewhere interesting. Yeah, this is the kind of map where there could be something literally anywhere. Look at all the holes. I do like the fact that it appears to be sort of slowly getting overgrown this end because this is where the natural light comes from. And over that end is still kind of regular chamber. There's also another look here indicator kind of thing all the way over there behind some glass by the looks of it. A bunch of panels over by the exit. We've also got two. Count them. Two types of deadly deadly lasers in case you're feeling like you know options do i want insta death or do i want to rub myself against it until it hurts so much i die kind of laser death options there um probably a reason right that one connects to connects to you so that's the one we can turn off that one does not appear to turn off in any way also this fizzler here does not appear to turn off in any way either you where we came in you have a panel and you line up perfectly with you. So at some point, you get a laser. Again, I don't think we're anywhere near that. So what can we actually do? Let's go ahead and grab this cube. We can use this panel here. Delivers you. That gives us the ability to uh, turn off just this laser, is it? Just this laser here. It's also half of the exit over that end. Uh, I feel like we should probably go have a look over that end since that's where everything else actually is. We go across a load of deadly deadly goo. You've got a big hole to maud. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, that was nice. A lovely bit of exaggerated floor animation that was. I do like a good fidgety paneled map. Can you 
can you, can you let can, can you let go of me please can, can, you, can you let go of you know what fine i'll move the portal that'll be easier right so here's hi more fidgety panels right so here's a bunch of panels behind glass that's only accessible from over by the exit so i'm immediately going to call this the convenience panel corner behind the glass including you which doesn't work okay so never mind about you uh yeah this is this is for getting back and forth right it also lets us go around to this side where we were looking at before. Bit of grill lets us look out over the goo. We've got... Oh, how unnecessary yet lovely. I do like a good fidgety panel map. I love the fact that Valve put so much effort into making those animations so lovely and smooth. It's nice to see them used. I mean, it's lovely to see them trying to do whatever it is they're usually trying to do. They try so hard, yet they fail so hard also. Quite like me. That's kind of the motto of this channel, isn't it? Try hard, fail hard, get complaints in the comments. Um, yeah, so you've got a panel there and we have conveyance beams, so that's a way to get back over there. This is going to be a work your way around the big inconvenience in the middle of the chamber kind of puzzle, right? And like I said from the comments on the workshop, it's not particularly easy, so... I don't know, we're going to be here a while. Uh, what can we actually do? Well, we've got a panel over there and we've got the convenience panels in here. You specifically seem to suggest that one. Why that one? I don't know. It might just be a, hey, look over here kind of thing. So what else could we even do? Uh, we can reversificate this conveyance beam with the cube out here past that. Is there any angles to hit anything from in here? Like the exit one? We can just about hit that exit one here. But there's no way we can have both from here. And yes, the laser does in fact burn. Okay, so there's no way to have both from here, and there's no way to hit the one around the corner to reversificate the conveyance beam from here, either. We've also got a gas leak. Which kind is it? Hmm. It's, it's heavily diluted neurotoxin. Not enough to kill you, just enough to get you slightly buzzed for science. And now the buzz is worn off and the complication of the puzzle looms. Um, okay, so... Where do I even begin? This fizzler appears to be permanent. So that's going to be some sort of reset thing. Yeah, where do we even begin then? You seemed like a good thing to have here. And actually looking at it, like, you there, right? Stuck through that relay into that particular panel, plus a load of complicated science in the future, plus a portal here, means you line up with that. So that's an all-important final step positioning of lasers and cubes and whatnot. Whilst we're, assumably, assumably... Assumably, presumably, that's that's the actual word, uh, over there next to the exit. Okay, so keep that in mind for the future. Um, the only other thing we have to play with is this laser receiver here for reversification. So the cube has to get over there to do something all important. There is panels on the ceiling above that chunk as well. Could we see them from where we were? Uh, let's do... Uh, well, you can't be there because you'll get shifted. Let's do you more like there. Let's do you there and there. And just notice design-wise, you go into this bit of debris, meaning you can accidentally lose your cube. And also conveniently for someone like me, not walk backwards into it without paying attention and end up where I don't want it to. So that's nice. More chambers need little uh, safety precautions like that. Let's go over to the other side then. And then we can use the convenience corner of panels behind glass to get the cube over to that side. Uh, we could do that with a swap around kind of thing now, couldn't we? If we move the orange into the convenience corner, we can go and bring this cube over into here. Deadly lasers do turn back on. Let's just come over into this side, drop you there for the moment. Uh, these ceiling panels, are they in fact fully functional ceiling panels? They are in fact fully functional ceiling panels, so that will let us get the cube around that way. Since the laser goes all the way through and there's a receiver here, it's got to be pretty important to do so. So you go in there, that gets rid of that fizzler. Also gets that reversificated. Does it do anything else? I mean, it's doing quite a bit as it is, and that's probably very, very useful. So there's that panel there. And that panel there. So that looks like it's for conveyance beam riding. And you could probably leap into it from that little uh, sticky out bit of catwalk there. So what do we do? And this. 
Does that mean I'm supposed to put you on here? It feels like it is, right? Because from here you could hit you. You could also hit you. And if I maneuver around the barrels without burning myself too much, we can hit you. So that spot's important and probably, probably why it's marked for us. Uh, where do we go from here then? I mean, that's half the exit, but the other half of the exit's in there, so that angle is useless. So what is actually a useful angle? Uh, we can still have a way to get through to that side with the cube out here. So why did I need to bring the cube out here? Because we've got to pull something at some point. So if you were actually like more like here, right? We could pull the cube off of this position, stopping it from doing that, and stopping it from doing that, and stopping it from doing that. Actually, we can't stop it from doing... No, we could. We could. Because it would pull it off of there and then push it immediately again. And it would either get caught of a loop of going in the perfect spot, or it would move it somewhere we need it to. So could I pull that cube back into there? Why would I do that? That's where I got it. Um, What could we do then? Hello, what was that? T8? I'm assuming it says initiate, unless that's someone's username and that's a cute little easter egg that I just spotted. This is the kind of map where there could be stuff literally everywhere. Nice murky, frosty kind of fog going on down there. Frosty fog. Not something that really exists. Um, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Actual science has that stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I'm getting distracted. Can anybody tell when I'm padding by just talking bollocks, right? Because I don't really know where to go from here. Uh, let's try. Let's try. Let's try what? What am I even supposed to be trying at this point? That gets rid of the portals again. You're reversificated keeping that off. So what's the point of having you... Reversificated in here. Not much good. We could get back, but we'd end up being pulled into lasers. So that feels like we still need the push kind of set up in here. And ultimately, we need to be able to leave a portal there and in that room whilst we're over at the other side. Let's swap you back to doing that one for the moment. And let's push ourselves back over to the other side and see what else there actually might be to play with feel like there's something probably quite obvious that I'm going to miss in this one and be oblivious to it for the whole bloody time. Uh, let's ride back across and have a look for any other things we could spot. It's just this convenience panels, right? Just the convenience panels are new. So this all feels like a getting back kind of place. Um, well, there's a difference in the fizzlers, isn't there? One's the insta-death, one's the no portal pass type. So, even with lasers up of the deadly kind, we could put a portal back through that way, but not that way, plus there's another fizzler. But we could conveyance beam from there. And that would suggest that's why there's excess catwalk there, right? Okay, maybe that's something. I feel like I'm miles away from even the first step at this moment, so... What would I even do now? Um, if we go back to there via the ceiling, we could put you back into the reversification laser receiver, which also gets the rid of the fizzler there. Gives us a portal access from that corner area back into like the main area. So why would I want to do that? Well, I must want to do that because I want to maintain portals at some point. So let's put the blue or anybody up there. Let's go round into the convenience corner panels and do you. Don't know if it specifically needs this one. Doesn't appear to line up with anything. Probably just like look here kind of thing. Uh, we can come back into here. Let's move you then to there. Which would let me go... Back into this area where we could move the blue off the ceiling to say you and get back into here. Right. And then I could move a portal back to you, but then I lose the way of getting back there. So there's something to do with that because we can portal back from this way, but, but it's not much use. So um, we need a way to get back into that room whilst keeping a portal 
out here. There's a way to get back into that room whilst keeping a portal out here. So is that why we can reversificate? So we could pull ourselves either up into the ceiling or through the wall would get us back into there. It's also going to move you, but maybe that's why we have that, so that we don't do that. So you sit there for the moment. Uh, I need a way of keeping a portal in there, getting over there, being over here, and back in there. Which means you have to do that one first, right? So we can convey back over there again. Probably doesn't matter about the portals for the moment. Again, it feels like we're absolutely miles away from anything. So let's do you and you. Like so. Go around the safety blocking debris. Now, this is where I was before. So what can I do? Well, we could ride the conveyance beam back, right? Which would leave us a portal up there. And we moved you. So you're not going to get budged. But budging you is just going to put those lasers on. I don't know. Either way, for the moment, we can go ahead and do that. And that is makeable. Yes, it is. Cool. Um, so, we can get over to here where the cube is. And then we need to do something to get back into there. So, to get back in there, let's put... Hold on. Double check portal colors. Let's put the blue... No, we just checked. Let's put the orange up there. Put you into the reversification one. Now that would let me get back into there. But I could also do it from in here. In here feels like a good place because it's got the alignment that we're going to eventually need. But are we anywhere near that? So what would be the point of going back into that space now? You have to stay doing this otherwise we lose that, yeah. So put you there. Now, why would I ride up in from this side? Does that mean we need to come back here? Um, let's quick save here. Because I feel like this might be a jump in the goo when it gets too complicated kind of map. And ride back into uh, this side. So from in here, what can we do once we're back in here? Can't go that way anymore because we've relasered it. Somewhere to pull from now. So maybe it should have been done from in there. Although, if I move the blue onto you, that lets us go back into here. And whilst we're back in here, I mean, you could go back onto that one. Or you could go back onto that one. Doesn't feel like there's much point in having you do the exit one at the moment. Because actually the cube's going to have to be back in there. Yeah, the cube would have to be back in there. To have any sort of way of getting the laser to do both that relay through portals to come to you. So it definitely has to be that panel. But that means I've got to get the cube back in there. But that's where we got the cube, meaning... Everything is a long, complicated, roundabout way of somehow me being over there and the cube pretty much back where it started. Why are you sparking? Am I supposed to pay attention to you? You decorative drama sparks? You are decorative drama sparks. However, you still got my attention, so uh, kudos to you. Um, yeah, this is where I'm completely lost now. Okay, uh... I might be at the point of just trying stuff. feel like a portal in there as the way in and out of there would probably be a good idea. So let's put orange on. Again, like you stick out a bit, right? And usually that means they're important. Or again, just decorative and it could be just decorative. And I read far too much into these things. But good map design tends to have little, little, hey, look at me kind of things like that. And that orange thing on the floor. So, you or you? Does it even matter? 
Well, if we move the orange to you, it lets me go back and forth into that space. But it doesn't let me get the cube to bring the cube back into here. So, what difference would it be doing it here? The difference with doing it here is absolutely nothing. You know what? Things are getting a little bit heavy, so let's just... That's the stuff. Okay, science. Um, uh, oh, God, it's worn off already. Need it less diluted next time, GLaDOS. Just a li little, little bit more brain cell killing. Um, yeah, you're permanent. I don't want to touch you. I wonder if it's an auto-respawning cube. Because if we could destroy you, that would get you back into here without all the hassle of this fizzler that won't turn off. Ah, which actually might be why you have that panel there, right? To conveyance beam you off to your death in the goo. So then why that? Because we need it there and not there at some point. Perhaps. 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 Um... So what would we even try with that then? Uh, you're still out the way, so that means I could go reposition you. We can go back over to here, and I could line you up with both these panels, which would let me shift you about with conveyance beams. So if you go back like there, but lined up with that one, I can still get in there. And then as soon as I move that blue up there, You'll shift off of here, but then ultimately end up getting pushed that way where I could destroy you. What good is that, though? It will get it in there. That seems like something I definitely want, but I need to be over there. That's the part I have no idea how to understand at the moment. Is I've got to be able to, like, manipulate all of this from over there. Yeah, this is one of those, like, proper logic maps. Um, so let's leave you here for the moment, and let's try budging you about with conveyance beams. In fact, let's quick save here so that, you know, the suicide reset is an option. If I now move the blue up to you, that will take you that way. Uh, I could touch you, or I could just do blue there. Are you auto-respawning? You are auto-respawning, meaning you're going to go and get pressed up there, which I didn't think about, which is annoying because I need portals to get you again, don't I? if I send you through there now, you're just going to get destroyed because that fizzler is back. I could drop it. I could drop it there. And then just walk it back into here. Which would let me keep a portal out there. Which we could maybe shift to there. And we'll have the cube in here. Let's, let's try that, shall we? Um, that means I need to be somewhere like here. Let's do... Blue. Blue. Hopefully that didn't get fizzled. Please don't have got fizzled. Right, yeah, cool. You're still alive. You can go here. Which means I can do stuff in here again. Like this. And we could go back out to this side and reposition the orange to you. Right. Which means the exit is open. Yes, the exit is in fact open. Cool. Now, does anybody spot the glaring fault in this that I'm still over here? Because that's that's pretty obvious now. However, I'm going to quick save because, you know, an exit that is open feels like progress to me in this game. So what would be next? Next would be the fact that I need to actually be over there. Um... Yeah. Next is that I actually need to be over there. Uh, so the only way over there... Actually, I could hit you. But that's above deadly, deadly goo, and that would not be my preference. So I have to convey over there again, so you can't be there because you'll get bumped out the way by the conveyancing. But I'd really, really like to leave a portal out there. To conveyance over there now, I have to move that. I don't want to move that because you're, like, really, really important 
And the fact that you need to be out there is like the glaringly awkward part of this puzzle design, yeah? Or instead of awkward, awkward to me, awkward to the player, but you know, ultimately clever. Um, oh, they're still trying up there, aren't they? Um, so I need a way to get over there that I can leave a portal out there, but we can't do that because of all the glass. So the convenience panels in the corner are not convenient from anywhere but over actually in the corner. You're really having a good go up there, aren't you? Me too, buddy. Me too. Um, so what am I... Oh, whoa, wait, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. Words that I said earlier have reappeared in mind. This. This. This exists for a reason, right? So is that how... I leave a portal out here. This doesn't matter for the moment. We're not anywhere where we can use the exit. But yeah, you, you line up, ow, and you still let me get back into here, ow, and you still let me get back into here. Right. So then if you came off of here, uh, deadliness comes back, deadliness goes away. Yeah. Then if we put the blue up there, and we quick save out of paranoia, we can come around here and convey this way. Yeah. Seems good. So then we can leave the orange. That's why that one's that type of uh, deadly laser, right? Because that's the type you can shoot back through. Because we could now put the blue, for the sake of being marked there, here. Right? And we move the orange to you, which is important because that's a nice line up to the lasers. Then from back in here, I need to reposition that cube. How do I reposition that? I should have repositioned that cube before conveying over here, right? Shit. Okay, um... Can I recover? Uh... Uh... Fuck sticks. Um... Yeah, I should have repositioned you back to there to have the ultimate lineup, because then I could have just repositioned things from here. Absolute scientific bollocks. Okay, um... Uh, recoverable or suicide mechanic? Recoverable or suicide mechanic? Recoverable or suicide mechanic? Um, what did I have before? I was here, and we had you, and we had you, and we had the blue there. Not not recoverable. Suicide reset mechanic activate. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, we're here. We're here. Okay, um... Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, it's just move this, right? Put you back into here. Like so. So that you hit that relay, you also hit that panel. And we don't have this deadly laser to worry about. Then we go back to here. This is where we fucked up. Well, I say that. This is where I fucked up. But, you know, you were here as well, so you can take part of the blame for me. Uh, that gives us all of this again, right? And then we move the blue. We move the blue. We move the blue to you. Gets us back into here. We use you because you're going to be the important one with orange on you there back over this side right and then let's quick save no let's not in case this is completely wrong it should now just be a case of moving the blue to you yeah okay nice that that's one of those ultra satisfying didn't even need the hit of deadly neurotoxin ultra satisfying to finally figure out kind of puzzles very very clever
Yeah, I, I still cannot comprehend how people come up with puzzle designs. I mean, ultimately, one day I could get pretty good at Hammer and make something that looks as nice as this. Fuck knows how you would ever get the puzzle, though. That's that's the part that always really, really impresses me. Um, I'm hoping that actually is the end. That does appear to be the exit elevator. That was Swap Remix, created and recommended by Shane. So a very big thank you to Shane. And like I said at the start, if this is in fact inspired by or a hammerization of a Lizard Rocket puzzle, then also a very big thank you to Lizard Rockets and a very big thank you to the both of them. Yeah, very, very nice. I can't think of anything funny to say again. I'm afraid it's five in the morning. Again, I've got to stop doing these things so late. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.